The Savior's charge to His disciples to love one another and the dramatic and powerful way He taught this principle at the Last Supper is one of the most poignant and beautiful episodes from the last days of His mortal life. As we ponder what it means to be Christians today, think about what our path of discipleship will require of us. Devastating earthquakes and tsunamis have recently occurred in diverse places, including Chile, Haiti, and the islands of the Pacific. We told the Samoan families that members all over the world expressed love and concern and had prayed for them. We were able to assure these choice members that because of the Atonement of Jesus Christ, they can be reunited with the loved ones they have lost. The atoning trials the Savior faced in Gethsemane and on the cross are a great example to us. He faced mental, physical, and spiritual afflictions that are beyond our comprehension. In the garden, He prayed to His Father, saying, O my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as Thou will. As His disciples, there will be times when we will be tried and persecuted unjustly and mocked unfairly and face temporal and spiritual storms of a magnitude that will seem unbearable to us and experience bitter cups that we pray would pass from us. No one is exempt from the storms of life. As we met with the families in Samoa, the significance of spiritually going to the higher ground, living a better life, and clinging to saving ordinances was abundantly clear. The Savior's example and life teaches us to spiritually avoid the low pathway where the things of this world dominate. He taught by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. How we relate and interact with each other is a measure of our willingness to follow Jesus Christ. We manifest our love for God when we keep His commandments and serve His children. We rejoice in all the Savior has done for us. He has made it possible for each of us to gain our salvation and exaltation. But we like the Samoan children must run as fast as we can to the high ground He has provided for safety and peace. I bear my apostolic witness that Jesus Christ lives and is the Savior and Redeemer of the world. He has provided the pathway to true happiness. Of this I testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.